Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're gonna go over a new inventory unit. We just got this trailer on our lot yesterday. It's washed, it's cleaned up. We got it ready for this video today. This is a 2024 Cimarron Northstar four horse gooseneck. It's got this really nice closet tack set up on it. They're gonna pop a drawing up for you guys to check out so you can kind of see the dimensions and the layout. Um, but this is a 6'10 wide, 7'1 tall. It's about 24 foot on the floor. You'll be 20 or 32 foot if you include that eight foot gooseneck. Um, but it's a really nice little setup. You got your four horses in the back, nice little offset closet to keep your tack out of your dressing room. But it's a really nice setup. We'll start here at our front dressing room. As you see, we have two doors here on this passenger side. We like to keep all our doors kind of situated on the passenger side of that trailer. And the reason we do that is if you're on the side of the road, you're pulled off on the shoulder of the highway, um, you need to get in your trailer for any reason, whether it be to grab tack, something out of your dressing room, something like that. You're doing so on the off traffic side. You're not opening doors and doing it, you know, right on your driver's side where traffic's flying by. So that's kind of why we like to put our doors on this uh, passenger side if it's doable with the layout we're wanting to do. But up here for our front door, this is our dressing room. We do have our same fold up step, 32 inch wide door. Then in our dressing room, again, just kind of a nice storage area. I mean, we're separated from our tacks. You're not gonna have to worry about, you know, saddles and blankets flowing around. So this gives you a nice just storage area to keep kind of your tack separated from some of your stuff you maybe don't want rolling around with your tack, kind of keep a little more organized. But we do have fully carpeted drop wall, fully carpeted gooseneck deck. Your tack room has an insulated roof in it, and this insulated roof actually travels through the whole trailer, so your horse area is fully insulated as well. Down low, we have our carpeted boot box. Again, serves as a nice step up into that gooseneck. If you're storing stuff up there, maybe you have a mattress that you're weekending out of this of, um, but it also gives you a nice storage area, you know, throw boots, bell boots, stuff like that, lawn chairs, grills, whatever you can fit in here to kind of keep it from rolling around on the floor and bouncing around in this trailer while you're traveling. Behind me in this kind of corner behind that closet tack room, we do have a nice little area. We have your lip shelf up here. So this is about a two inch lip. It's a rubber bottom, so nothing can really roll off of this onto the ground. So again, keeping your stuff organized. We go ahead and we put a clothes rod below that so you can hang slickers, show clothes, rodeo shirts. You can hang some starch jeans right there and not worry about them getting messed up while you're traveling. And again, it just kind of takes up that dead space and gives you a nice place to hang stuff. Here on our partition wall between this dressing room and tack, we do have bridle hooks up high. Again, fully carpeted, so whatever you hang is not rubbing on this trailer, and your trailer is not rubbing on the stuff you hang, whether it be bridles, head stalls, clothes, stuff like that. But we just try to set these closet tack setups to be as versatile as possible. So again, you do have that space for tack. You have more space for tack up here. You can kind of situate it however you want as far as organizing this trailer to really benefit how you want to use it while you're traveling. We do have LED lighting in this tack room. We're gonna have one situated above the door right when you walk in, and there will also be one in the front of your nose. Again, just kind of really giving you enough light no matter what you're trying to do in this setup. As we move over to our closet attack, again, this is a 42 inch wide door. so a little bit bigger door, making it easier on you guys to be able to get saddles in and out. Also gives you a little more storage space. We do have that same fold up step so you can easily climb up on that step and pull saddles off. This is built into a recessed track in here. So you'll see there is a recessed post into the wall back here. Um, so these are fully adjustable. You loosen your two little bolts and you can adjust these however you want. You can add more if you want. You can take some out. If these blanket pulls on this door are not enough for you, they make a blanket pull that'll slide right into that recess too. So you can run saddles and blankets on this recessed pull. So again, really modular and really user friendly. If you guys are wanting to add, organize your stuff however you see fit. It's a fully carpeted uh, closet tack room. So about all your back walls, and your door to this closet tack are fully carpeted. Again, helping really deaden that noise for your horses while you're traveling. Help keeping your stuff look nice and neat as well as keeping your trailer, you know, preventing your trailer from getting scratched up and stuff like that. We do have bridle hooks situated both on our front wall and our back partition wall of this trailer. Again, giving you guys plenty of hanging space in this closet tack. We also go ahead and what we do in these closet tack setups is we go ahead and we throw a roof vent in this closet tack. So again, you've been riding on a long, hot day, your blankets are sweaty, your saddles are sweaty, your stuff gets pretty muggy pretty fast if you lock it in a little enclosed room. So we go ahead and we put that roof in in. So after you're done riding, you can pop that open when you're going home and it'll let all that fresh air, pull that air in here and kind of dry your stuff out and keep it from getting muggy. But these blanket bars on this door, they're gonna run on a gas piston so you can easily swing them out. You can easily slide blankets on and off. You're not having to fight a wall. Typical blanket bars that aren't, you know, swing out like this that are just hard mounted against the door. Typically, once you get one or two sets on, 
you go to get your third and fourth on and you're fighting the blanket, you're fighting the wall and it's really hard to get them on, but by allowing you to swing this out, you really get a straight, sh straight shot at hanging all your blankets and then when you fold it over, it holds them against that wall for travel. Then below those blanket bars, we do have our split brush tray. So it's a three compartment brush tray. Again, if you have something that leaks, breaks, freezes, anything like that, it's gonna contain it to one of these three trays. It is also drainable. We have holes in the bottom of here. So again, if you do get something that leaks and breaks, which is kind of inevitable, you know, keeping stuff outside, especially colder months in the winter, like we get here in Colorado, um, your stuff will drain out the bottom. It's not gonna get real nasty like it would if it was a non, if it was just a full enclosed brush box. So keep traveling down this passenger side. We do have a 16 inch awning light up high, again, giving you guys enough light to be able to saddle off this passenger side of the trailer early morning, late night. Sliding type windows on this hip side. So again, these will slide open 50% of the way and really help you get that airflow coming. We can do other options too. If you want to do drop windows on these hip sides, we can do that. If you want to do plexiglass slats on this four horse, we can do that. The real benefit of doing these sliding types or if you go with the drops is it allows us to insulate around the windows because we have the framing to do so. So you are getting a fully insulated horse compartment with the exception of if you do go with stock sides on a North Star model, you're not gonna have that insulation right around the windows, but you will have it everywhere else. Down low, we do have our tie rings on this trailer. We're gonna do four per side since it is a four horse. You'll have one located at the rear, three kind of on your side, and it's gonna be the same on the other. It is a 610 wide trailer like we showed you guys in that drawing. So you are gonna have this full length running board with the exception of where those steps are. So again, really handy to be able to crawl up on that running board, check on your horses while you're traveling. And it's a really manageable size too. With this only being 24 foot on the floor, you're easily gonna be able to get into gas stations, fuel pumps, stuff like that. You're not gonna have to you know, find those bigger truck stops to be able to stop at while you're traveling. You can easily whip into a gas station in town, fill up and not have to worry about where you're going. Down low, we are on two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. Standard pretty much on all of kind of this size trailer, whether it be a stock combo, this North Star, anything like that. If you're getting this size trailer with kind of this setup of axles, we are coming standard with these Goodyear tires now. So again, that's a big upgrade for you going to these Goodyears. They are coming from the factory nitrogen filled. And what that nitrogen does, um, aside from the air is, you know, again, Colorado, we get some cold mornings. Like this morning it was probably 40 degrees and it's gonna warm up to probably 70, 75 today. You're not having to see that PSI fluctuate in these tires. You're not having to add air in the mornings when it's colder and then dump air once it starts warming up. That nitrogen doesn't contract and expand like air does and it's really gonna add to the longevity and the lifespan of these tires. <coughs> Moving around to our load side of this trailer, it is a 60-40 rear door setup. So again, you can open just one of these doors to load horses if you're worried about one backing over the top of you, or you can open them both up like we do here. The floor in this trailer, it is a full aluminum floor built on four inch centers. So no matter what trailer you guys are looking at, if you are looking at a Cimarron, you are getting the strongest floor on the market. So this trailer is built on four inch centers. It's about every four inches there is a support beam running the length of this trailer. So again, no matter where your horse is standing in this trailer, they are going to be standing pretty much directly over support. You're not on eight, 10, 12 inch centers. They are true four inch centers. The cool thing they do um, when you actually go down to the factory and you watch them build these is they flip this trailer upside down. So all your welds holding this floor together are on the underside, so you never see them. It looks nice and neat. Um, that's kind of what Cimarron prides himself on is making things look nice and neat on your trailer. Again, you're spending a lot of money to take care of your horses. You're spending a lot of money on a trailer that's for you, but more so it's for your horses. Um, they want it to look nice and neat for you. But again, four inch centers. The cool thing we can do on these, whether you're ordering one from the factory or you pick one off our lot that's sitting here, they're gonna come pretty much standard with these rubber mats, but we have a great outfit down the road from us here. If you wanna go ahead and do that uh, permanent worm flooring, you don't have to worry about pulling mats. It's impenetrable, so you never have to worry about your aluminum floor going bad if you, you know wait a little bit to wash your trailer. We can do that for you here, we can do it at the factory, but all our trailers, we're able to run down the road, get them wormed in a few days and get them to you guys if that's an option you want. For our dividers in this setup, we have two partial types for our rear stalls and a full divider for our front stalls. We option to do padded on these dividers as well. So again, you have your two partial types and then for your front stall, we do run a full height stud divider, giving you guys the option to, again, if you do want to separate a stud horse off your mares, something like that, or the thing I like it most for is using it as kind of a storage area. So you can easily stack, you know, 10, 12 bells of hay in here, not have to worry about them rolling into your horse, falling down, anything like that, that wall will hold them up. Grain totes, tack, 
muddy clothes. You can throw all of it in this front stall, shut that gate, not have to worry about it getting your horses. Again, you can still haul three behind and use this as a nice little storage area. Or if you're hauling four, you can easily you know, put one in this front stall. So it gives you guys those options. We do have it set up with an escape door. We pretty much run an escape door on anything we can. Um, the only issue we run into where we can't is where if the axles are positioned where the escape door would go. We like throwing escape doors on one for the safety of you guys. If you get in a wreck or something like that and can't get your horses off the back in an emergency, you can pull the viders, run them off this escape door. But again, it just gives you a nice access point in here as well. As far as if you're storing stuff in here, you're not having to offload horses to get to it. You can just come right through that escape door. Each one of our stalls, whether it be this first stall or the last three, they are gonna come set up with D-rings so we can easily drop corner feed bags in these trailers um, that are deep bucket style we can get. Or we have two tie rings up high, usually one to tie our horses. If you're hanging a net type feed bag, we have another position for that as well. And then our roof, of course, it is a uh, polycarbonate roof, so it is fully insulated roof. All your walls in this trailer are insulated as well, so it will keep you about 20 degrees cooler in here in the winter, and about 20 degrees warmer in the, uh, or 20 degrees warmer in the winter, 20 degrees cooler in the summer, so it really helps your horses kind of maintain their temperature. We also have the same roof vents that we saw in that claws attack situated one above each stall, so you can easily pull some air in, keep your horses cooled off while you're traveling. Thing I want to point out while I jump out of this trailer is Cimarron really tries to make um, all their stuff as quiet, user friendly, as durable as possible. So what they go ahead and do, pretty much anywhere that metal can meet on this trailer. So for example, this divider where it goes into its latch, it is going to be a metal on plastic latch. So again, metal on plastic doesn't wear as much as metal on metal does. Metal on metal will grind over time. It makes a lot of noise for your horses while you're traveling. Horses don't haul as well when you have a noisy trailer, so by doing this, it really prevents the noise, but again, it's really gonna add to the life of that latch too. Over time, that metal's not gonna wear down like it would if that was a metal holder for it. Um, so you're really gonna add to the longevity of this trailer and your horse is gonna be a lot more comfortable traveling as well. And then again, another place I can point it out is where your rear doors latch here. Again, the doors are gonna sit on a little UHMW plastic. So again, really help keep that vibration down add to the longevity, your metal's not grinding away, and they pretty much do that wherever metal can meet. There is gonna be a plastic holder, a hold back, anything like that that can help keep that vibration and noise down for you traveling. Move down our head side. Again, we have our four tiring situated between our drop windows. Cimarron's drop windows are awesome. They're super user-friendly, they're super stout. You can run them in three different positions. Um, you can run them dropped like I have now with your jail bars up. So again, your horses can't stick their heads out. You can feed in there, do whatever. You can easily check on them from the outside. But if it's a little bit cooler morning, you can run these windows fully shut like this, open your roof fence, get a little bit of airflow, but keep your horses nice and warmed up. Um, or if you know it's kind of a moderate morning or maybe you're feeding horses in there and you don't want that wind really whipping that hay around, you can run your sliding type window open, shut your window and you're still getting that airflow, but again, not as much that it's whipping hay around and really cooling your horses off if you're getting a cooler morning. Up high, again, kind of matching that uh, passenger side, we do have another 16-inch load light on this uh, driver's side. So again, giving you guys enough light that no matter which side of this trailer you need to tie off on, whatever situation you're in, whether you're parked and you can't get to your passenger side, you still have the ability to tie out, get some light cast out here for you guys while you're saddling, stuff like that. Again, here's a good outside look at that escape door. So again, if you're hauling three horses in the back, you don't have to offload them. You can come right to this escape door grab your grain, grab your hay, drop those windows and feed them and do it all without having to offload your horses. Then again, the cool thing about Cimarron's escape doors is they do go ahead and they throw, it's a little bit smaller drop to be able to fit the frame in that escape, but you do have that full same drop window in your escape door that you will on your big drops. Another cool little thing I wanna point out that Cimarron does, one, they do those plastic latches that are awesome, but they go ahead and they go the extra mile. And for all their hinges on these trailers, they are gonna be fully greasable hinges. So you can easily throw a grease gun on them. You start getting a squeaky window, a sticky window, something like that. You just pop it right on that greaser and grease these windows. Not a lot of manufacturers do that. And again, it's a super mundane thing that you wanna think makes a huge difference, but it's those little things that make this trailer really user friendly for you guys. Again, you're spending a lot of money on a trailer for you and your horses. You want it to be as user friendly and operable as possible for you guys. Up here under the nose, this is just a standard manual type drop shoe jack. Again, we can go in the factory, we can throw electric jacks on, we can do electric over hydraulics. Um, if you pick one off our lot, our shop works with Cimarron as far as how to do stuff right, do stuff to Cimarron standards. 
Um, so if you want to throw a hydraulic jack on, we can do that at our shop as well. Give us a couple days and we can get this trailer. Pretty much 90% of the stuff you guys can think of that you want to add to a Cimarron, we can do so through our shop. And it, all the parts come from Cimarron, so it truly is done the Cimarron way that they pride themselves on if you ever do want to make changes to a trailer before you pick it up. Spare tire to our trailer is mounted up high over here. Um, it's a matching wheel and tire to the rest of the wheels and tires of this trailer. It is a full aluminum wheel. Again, you have a blowout, you have a flat. We don't want you guys riding on a steel wheel, a donut, anything like that. So we try to keep them matching. So if you do have a flat, you can easily swap wheels and tires and it'll look like it never happened until you can get that first tire, you know, fixed or repaired. Up here, we'll finish off on our gooseneck. It is a two and five sixteenths ball. This is the new style handle. We have it ran all the way up and it's kind of a cool way to show you guys why we went to this new style. Before, this would be about another four inches lower at its lowest hole, but we went to this new style handle, which allows us to get about another four inches of adjustment on this. So again, if you're hauling with a toter, um, a freight liner, a puller truck, something like that, that has got a little more bed height. This is gonna allow you to get another four inches and really allow you to be able to ride level with no matter what truck you're pulling without having to go in and change the factory hardware, buy another hitch, buy a different hitch for your truck. You're gonna be able to do so with everything that comes on this trailer, no matter what you're pulling with 95% of the time. And then again, we do have our safety chains, our breakaway brakes, and then our seven pin is ran back to its little holder back there. So again, it's a 2024 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck. I believe we had three of these four horses show up yesterday. This is a closet tack setup. We have a standard front tack setup and I believe maybe a dual tack setup. So we have a few different setups of these four horses depending on what you're looking for. But if you're interested in this specific trailer, the stock number for this unit is 5N231415. Again, 24 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck. This is the one with the closet tack. If you're interested in this trailer, maybe some of those other four horses that just showed up, or if you want to custom build your own trailer, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.